how to use Fluent CRM to create follow-up funnels. That's what we're going to deal with in this video. Now, what am I talking about? What is a follow-up funnel? What is Fluent CRM? We're going to cover all of that, okay? I'm super excited. And uh, the reason is because this is one of my favorite tactics, one of my favorite strategies to help indoctrinate people into your world, whatever it is that you do, and invite them in and, and learn how to take advantage of um, your products and services that you would like to offer. I'm Steve Schramm. The channel here is Funnel Talk, and I help you build high converting sales funnels using WordPress. Now, what a lot of people don't give any thought to is that a huge part of your sales funnel is your follow-up funnel, which is your emails, okay? You can actually create great email automation funnels right inside of WordPress using a tool called Fluent CRM, which I am going to show you right now. So Fluent CRM is a fantastic tool that I found um, in the past few months, and I've talked about it a lot here on the channel, and we're going to continue talking about it because I think it's absolutely fantastic. And essentially, this is a CRM. It's a customer relationship manager. You have lots of tools, lots of things you can do with it. I recently recorded a video about how to use it for sales prospecting. That video did pretty well, and so I'm um, still doing pretty well, so I highly encourage you to go check that out, and it will show you how to use Fluent CRM whether you're doing manual sales prospecting or you're doing email reach out, etc. So it's really, really helpful. It's a great tool. Specifically, though, we want to talk about how to use it as a follow-up funnel. So how does a follow-up funnel work? Well, in general, what you're going to do is you're going to send people through your sales funnel maybe through a landing page, okay? That's where you're going to start with them. And if it's a lead sort of funnel where you're just giving them a lead magnet in exchange for their email address, then again, they're going to give you that email address on page one. And then what you do after page one um, is up to you and something that we'll talk about on a different video. But for this video, what I want to talk about is what happens on the back end whenever you actually get them to give their email address because that's where most of the sales actually take place. Believe it or not, you're going to have sales that take place on the front end, but so much of it comes in the follow-up. In fact, there's a saying in marketing world uh, that the fortune is in the follow-up. It's always been that way. And even though the landscape has changed about how some of that follow-up takes place, the principle remains. The more that you follow up, the better chance you get of getting a sale. I think the average is somewhere around seven times uh, that people need to be engaging with you and with your content before they make a sale. That's just a, a, a general average. It may be different for your product or for your service. But in general, you need to be touching customers at least seven times in order to get them to take action. And so your email can make up, you know, five, six, seven of those touches. And so it is very, very important that you get this right and you get this integrated into your own marketing system. Okay. So how might you practically do this in WordPress using Fluent CRM? That's what we're going to talk about here in this video. So the most important part to look at is your automations. Okay. Your automations. So you can get to them from the sidebar over here or you can get to them from up here. So we're gonna go look at automations and you can see we have lots of options if we come here and say, I want to create a new automation. Now what's great about Fluent CRM is that since it lives right inside of WordPress, it is really not a lot of work at all, basically none, to get it to integrate with a lot of the other products that you're already using. So for example, they have native integration with MemberPress and with WooCommerce right here in Fluent CRM. So you can trigger when a new order comes in uh, and has been processed. You can trigger in MemberPress if they've been added to a new membership level. Okay, you can do that. Um, some tools, the integration works the other way around. So for example, I talk about Studio Cart on the channel a lot. And Studio Cart has direct integration with Fluent CRM in that when you make a purchase on um, Studio Cart, you can go in and actually start the process here in Fluent CRM in your follow-up funnels. So if you're using the other uh, sales funnel tool I recommend, which is CartFlows, then it integrates all its sales with WooCommerce. And so you would use the WooCommerce um, section here to begin your funnel. And so it's like, okay, well, do we want it when there's a, a new order in processing? Do we want the funnel to start when the order is completed, etc. Again, with MemberPress, do we want it when a new member is added or when a subscription has expired? Uh, with the CRM itself, okay, with Influence CRM, do we want to go ahead and start this automation when a tag is applied, when a list is applied, 
etc. Now, I think a lot of times what you're going to do is start it with this one, with tag applied. And the reason why is because whenever you're collecting your email addresses on the front end, what you're going to do is configure that email opt-in to tell Fluent CRM, okay, this member is being added with this tag, okay? So you're going to maybe tag them with something like interested in and then, or maybe the title and the lead magnet or something like that, okay? So there are different ways that you can do this, okay? That, that goes a little bit beyond the scope of this video, but the point is that you want to get them into the system so that the follow-up funnel can start, okay? So again, we could create a, uh, a, a, new, a new list here. Let's say this is gonna be a new lead automation. We're just gonna keep it kind of simple. Okay, when the tag is applied. Now, it's going to ask us what tag that we want to use. All right, so let's just say when tag one is applied, we want this new lead automation to kick off. And then we're going to save our settings. And there we go. That's it. Now, it looks pretty bare bones. Now, the power is, well, what happens after the trigger? See, all we've discussed at this point is the trigger. Now, once we click this, our world totally opens up to actions, goals, and conditions, as you'll see right here, okay? Or we can just view all and see everything all together here. Now, I hope you understand that we cannot possibly look through each of these today, but there is so much power in this application, okay? You could do so much. Uh, you can apply further tags. You can apply further lists. You can remove them to things. You can go ahead and get uh, a webhook going into another process. You can set email sequences. You can set other email campaigns. You can cancel things. You can update user meta. You can. There is so much here you could do. When when this uh, automation starts, if it sees a goal that has been achieved. In other words, it sees that uh, an order was received in WooCommerce. That's a branch of the funnel that it could actually go in and then shut the funnel down because you don't want to keep promoting to somebody who's already purchased. Um, or a link click. If you have them click a particular link inside of one of the emails that you sent them, then that could take a particular action based on that. So super duper powerful. We can go in here and say in a conditional, we could say, have they purchased a specific product or have they not? Okay. If they did purchase it, we can stop it. If they didn't, then we can keep on promoting it, et cetera. So super, super powerful. I hope you could just uh, see the beauty and the uh, power of this. Now, when it comes specifically to creating a follow-up funnel, I think what you're going to find is that the most powerful way to do this is with an email sequence. And so inside of our, uh, chooser here where we're going to choose what we want to happen, we would say this, we would say set sequence emails. Now we have to choose an email sequence. So for our purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and choose soap opera sequence and we're going to save settings. So what's happening is when a new uh, person enters their email address, they get tagged with tag number one. And as soon as they're tagged with tag number one, then the sequence of emails goes ahead and starts sending. And that sequence right there is the soap opera sequence. So let's head over to the sequences now. And you can get to that by going to emails and then email sequences. And we'll talk about this. So the soap opera sequence, okay, is a framework that I learned from Russell Brunson. And in the soap opera sequence, it really has these uh, five main emails. And then I'm adding an additional one up here with the free download um, that the lead might get after they go ahead and enter their email address. Okay, so we can go ahead and deliver that using Fluent CRM. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And then what you have is you have five emails that follow. I've got the first one starting 60 minutes after this download comes in. And then the rest of them happen a day after the last one. And what we're doing is we're bringing a customer through a journey. Now, there are many different ways to do this. We don't, you don't have to use the soap opera sequence framework, which has a stage, a high drama, an epiphany email, a hidden benefits email, and then a last call. You don't have to use that framework. You can use another uh, framework. For example, you could give, um, uh, if you had five emails, you could do three emails that were super high value, tips and tricks type of emails. On the fourth email, you could go ahead and say, okay, and you could introduce them to the product that you have that, um, uh, you know, you've given them three emails worth of value. So now you have a product, you're going to follow up on that product. And then on the fifth day is where you add urgency and scarcity to your offer. And you could go ahead and um, have them 
to uh, take you up on your offer on that fifth day. Okay, so three high value tips and tricks emails, and then a fourth email that introduces the product, and then a fifth email that really sells the product through urgency and scarcity. So then practically, how do we actually create this? So let's go back to our email sequences. Let's say create new sequence, and we're gonna we're gonna title it um, lead gen um, indoctrination. Okay, we're bringing them into our world, right? We're indoctrinating them into the ways of a funnel talk, right? So add a sequence email. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an email to get the sequence started. We're going to give it a subject and we're going to say your free download inside. Perfect. Now, when are we going to send it? Okay, what is the delay? Well, we're going to send it zero minutes. Okay, so immediately, essentially, right? And I guess you could technically do it zero days. That's fine too. Um, the point is this is going to be an immediate download. All right. And so then we can go right here and we can start editing our body. Now, Fluent CRM is a great tool, again, that uses uh, the built-in Gutenberg WordPress editor, and I think even uh, improves upon it at least a little bit. It, at least I think so. It's really great. Um, but what you could do here is, is we have these Gutenberg uh, blocks. Let me move me out of the way a little bit, and you can sort of see uh, over here. We have these blocks, and so in these, you can use the at symbol to actually mention and then bring in variables from your emails. So you could use full name, you know, first name, last name, any of the things that you see here are dynamic variables that you can use. And then also as you're using the editor, you can type a forward slash and that will give you your blocks that you can use. You can insert an image right here in these emails. You can do a bulleted list. You can do headings, etc. right here in this email. Okay. So, you know, heading you know, this is tip one, you know, random text. Okay. So we're not going to actually type through the emails this time. We'll, we'll do that in a later video, but for now, just understand this is how this system works. Now, what you can do is come right here and send a test email. So, um, whatever your admin email address, the current user email that you're logged in with rather, um, if you hit send, it's going to send a test email to that email address, or you can type a different one in here hit send, and then it will send it to that, which is also super, super helpful and to be able to test your emails first. And then you just keep walking through the process. We hit save on this. Good deal. It's been saved. So now we can go back to our sequence here. We can go back a level and then add another sequence email. So this is email number one, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, tip number one, whatever. Okay. And then whatever. All right. So, and then you just follow the same process, hit save. And then what it's going to do and again, right here, you would you would up your time, right? So you'd say maybe, okay, well, this is going to come on day one. So then we'll hit save. And we come back out here. And again, we, we, we see that, oh, let's see. It looks like it didn't save. Well, that was weird. I hit save. Let's do it again. Email number one. One day. And we'll hit save. It wants me to provide an email body. It's getting mad at me. This is my email body. Now we hit save and it liked that. So we go back to Legion indoctrination and there we go. So let's go here and make sure that we're upping this to one day. Right. And so now we'll see that we have this email coming in immediately and this email one day after starting point. So what you do is you just keep adding emails and you add days. So this is going to be two days from the starting date. Okay. This is some tools go ahead and put this, make this delay number to be from the last email. That's not how fluent CRM works with fluent CRM. It's going to be two days from the triggered starting date. Okay. So then we come here and say, maybe this is email, uh, number what three is this number three? I think this is actually number three and then, uh, email body here and we hit save. And then we go here. Okay. So obviously, uh, if we're doing the free download thing, then this is actually email number two. So let's go ahead and change that. But you get the point, okay? And what you do is you keep adding them. And so as you do this, what you're going to see is that your automation sends them directly into this email sequence. And then this email sequence guides them through a journey that, um, again, is, is the customer journey into your world and helps them accomplish the goals that you want for them to accomplish. So that's it. That's how to create a basic email follow-up funnel with Fluent CRM. 
as you can see, there is tons more that we could go through and that we have even gone through here on the channel with Fluent CRM. If you find that useful and helpful, then I would just encourage you to subscribe here to the channel and um, follow along for more great videos like this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down there in the, in the uh, comments below. I'd be super happy to help you with that. Otherwise, I hope you have a great and wonderful day. I hope you found this useful.